Hello, I'm Dr. Richard Daines, Commissioner of Health for New York State. The information age has brought us many new consumer products, the iPhone, iPods, TiVo, and digital cameras, to name a few. Now it's time to bring modern information technology to the healthcare world. Patient medical records today are still largely paper-based and fragmented, with parts of medical records located in several places, including a primary care doctor's office, at the offices of physician specialists, at hospital emergency rooms, and other health care offices. As a physician and a former hospital medical director, I have experienced the frustration of treating a patient and not having immediate access to a patient's complete medical history and current prescriptions. Now, Imagine that your medical records were computerized and available electronically so that you and all of your doctors would have access to your complete record in a secure system that protected your privacy. A secure, interoperable electronic health record system can save time and money and improve the quality of health care in many ways. What if you were seriously injured in an accident and couldn't tell the medical staff in a hospital emergency room about any pre-existing health conditions? With electronic health records, the ER doctor would have immediate access to your complete medical history. This could make a difference in the outcome of your care. How many of us have gone to a doctor's appointment and filled out questions about our health, then gone to another doctor's appointment at a different location and been asked to answer the same questions? With electronic health records, your doctor would have access to your complete medical history so you would not have to answer the same questions over and over. Electronic health records would also reduce the number of unnecessary repeat medical tests because your doctor could see in your record that you had recently had the same test and be able to check the results. Electronic health records can also help your health care provider identify if you have received all the recommended prevention measures such as a flu shot, a cholesterol test, or a mammogram. Currently, only about 55% of patients receive all the recommended care, partly due to a lack of access to a complete medical record. Today, in collaboration with the healthcare community, New York State is advancing an electronic health record system to improve the quality and safety of health care. An important aspect of electronic health record systems is the statewide health information network for New York. We call it SHINee. The SHINee is the network that makes it possible for electronic health records to function properly. In the following video, you'll learn more about how electronic health records work and the many benefits they provide. So let's take a look at the future of health record keeping. Are you allergic to any medications? In the emergency room, not knowing a patient's health history can mean trouble. Unnecessary tests, wrong medications, loss of valuable time. But imagine this. What if you could go any place in the country and know that your entire medical record would be readily available when it was needed? Getting good health care is all about having good information on which to base treatment decisions. and. Health information technology moves information on healthcare more easily, faster, and more accurately. Right now, a movement is underway in all the 50 states and U.S. territories to make this happen. 70% of Americans don't even know this National Health Information Network is being built. This is a sea change for people. This is just a really huge change, and nobody knows about it. We like to think about this as having a national direction but local control. They would have one place where they could theoretically store all that information and have ready access to it. In this scenario, your medical record is a virtual one. Your doctor enters your health information into a computer database. Lab technicians, x-ray staff, and pharmacists linked to the same network can access it quickly and easily. Technology is not the main barrier to sharing health information nationwide. When we talk to the technical folks about um, designing systems, their response to us is usually, tell us what you want, and we can build you a system that will do that. The more thorny issue is how to protect that information. When we think about 
how to keep electronic records more private and secure, we really are talking about sort of two distinct pieces. One is the security of the record. How do you keep people from hacking in? But it's not just about keeping the information secure. It's about who has the right to access it, use it, and for what purposes. When you go into a doctor's office or into a hospital or any other healthcare situation, the healthcare provider is required to provide a notice of privacy practices. So they're required to inform patients how the health information about that patient may be used or disclosed. The healthcare provider can use it for treatment purposes. So they can use it to treat you, to talk to a provider that they want to refer you to, to talk to another colleague, to consult about your case and that sort of thing. They can also use information in order to get paid for the service they provide. So they can submit information to your insurance company. And then the third category is healthcare operations. And that's some general office activities that a healthcare provider or a doctor would need to engage in, like sending out an appointment reminder or scheduling a procedure at a hospital or a clinic for you. It would also include things like disease management programs in order to help manage a, a patient with a chronic condition. We really have some critical decisions to make about just how much privacy we need in the system in order to make it work, allow people to trust it, and at the same time still allow the information to move freely. There are actually a number of different models that are popping up out there that provide different levels of patient control. Like the other stakeholders in health information exchange, consumers and patients have their own take on who should have access to their health information. Everything's electronic. Really, I mean, bank records are all electronic, so, I mean, if I'm not worried about that, then I assume, you know, there's ways to protect my privacy. As far as electronic information, you know, how can you really be sure that it's secure? You know, I have no, uh, no way of knowing that my files aren't being uh, shared with others. Many patients are less concerned about privacy on a day-to-day -day basis for most of their common issues and they're interested in speed and convenience but I think as a policy we we can't assume that for everyone. There at least needs to be the mechanism to have the privacy. As the movement to a national health information exchange system continues to evolve the dichotomy between access and privacy is being diffused by designing systems that allow for both. Your participation is important. Ask questions. Will I have access to my medical records online? How? How will my information be used and by whom? What control will I have over what is shared? If there is a breach of confidentiality, how will I be informed? What we're trying to do is bring the states together to look at their laws, look at their policies, and figure out how they can continue to protect consumers but still allow information to flow from one state to another in order to treat patients, provide high quality of care, and avoid medical errors. How do we get all the benefits of health IT and at the same time allow people to trust it so they'll allow their information to be part of it? In short, how do we do it right? That gives you an idea of how an electronic health record system works and how it can benefit you. An electronic health record system is key to transforming and improving our health care system. You can help advance this exciting new development in medicine by encouraging your doctor to find out more about using electronic health records. Remember, no matter how your health records are kept, be sure to get all the checkups and care recommended by your health care provider.